Megan, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you 10 of the hardest things for me to do with one hand. First is picking up my hair. Now, I have done a video of me picking up my hair, and while I do have one way where I do it, that's the only way that I know how to do it. Like, there's only one way I can really pick up my hair. It takes a lot of practice and patience as well, which I'm not the best at, so I get really frustrated easily. So like I prefer, like today I'm wearing a headband and I can do that pretty easily. Um, So I will often do that or just wear a gown most of the time. Um, But yeah, picking up my hair is definitely extremely hard to do with one hand, at least for me. I wish like I could find a way to do more hair styles and I'll never say like I can't do it or you know, I'll never give up, but um, it is something that, you know, is hard. So next, fastening my left hand. Now, if you are new, um, my left hand is my good hand, and then my right hand is my weak hand. So, fastening my hand, like, yes it is, like, it's very hard for me to do with my right ha hand as it is, like, weak. So, I either, like, have to have someone else, like, fast my hand, or my arm or I like have to like rub it against something sometimes I can do it with my right hand like this but like it's so like kind of hard and sometimes I just need like a lot better stress like my right hand can only do so much but yeah that's something that is extremely like annoying sometimes especially when I like have it is and there's no one there to ish it for me I just like have to find a way next is buskins um, buskins are hard to do with one hand, and I honestly try to avoid it as much as possible. So, like, for example, wearing jeans, like, I leave them bucking. Like, I put on my jeans, like, with them already bucking, and somehow I manage to, like, put them on without any problem. But occasionally, there are times where I do have to buck it, and they sometimes, like, take a while for me to do. But I have a fog, I guess, like, not, like, deal with the butt gangs, and, but then again, you know, like I said, there are sometimes where, you know, I have to buck in them, and, like, it might take me a long time. Sometimes I'm lucky and act like it doesn't take me too long, but, you know, most of the time, I do avoid butt gangs. Pugging on earrings and necklaces. So, when I was 13, I got my ears pierced, and... I like never really found a way for me to put on earrings with one hand. Like every time I ha had earrings in, like, you know, my mom would help me or like someone would help me put them in and then I would wear them like for a long time. And then eventually like, you know, I took them out because it was just too hard for me to like try different earrings. And also my ears were kind of like sensitive as well. But, you know, for the most part, like, I couldn't find a way to, like, do it with one hand. I just felt like, you know, there was no point. Like, you know, it's going to be frustrating. And, like, I didn't, like, have to wear earrings. But, like, I definitely want to, like, to try to wear earrings. And I liked them at the time. And, you know, at this point, I believe, like, my ears have closed. So, like, I can't wear earrings now unless I get them pierced again. But, like, I honestly, at this point, I don't know if it's worth it because, like, I'm fine with not wearing earrings. But, you know, it is something, like, maybe I could have tried harder, but, you know, it definitely harder than you think, like, putting earrings on with one hand. And then necklaces, I do wear sometimes, and I do enjoy wearing them, um, but it's another one of those jewelries where it is harder for me to get put on with one hand, unless it's, like, a long necklace. So every time I do wear necklaces, I, you know, have someone put, help me to put it on, and I have yet to, like, find a method to really, like, figure out a way I can do it on my own. For that reason, like, I don't wear them that often, and if I, like, could find a way to do it, like, with one hand, like, I would wear them definitely a lot more. But a jewelry I have found a way to do with one hand is breaklaces. Now, I like to wear breaklaces on my left hand, which is my strong hand, because my right hand, I have tried that, because obviously, like, putting a braces on would be easier 
to pluck on with on my right hand but since it's weak like oftentimes like the braces unless it's like super tight like it will like fall off my hand so that's why I prefer to wear braces on my left hand because it won't fall off but the thing with that is I have to find a way to put a bracelet on my left arm using my left hand and I try to use my right hand as an assist of course as well with that and actually I'll show you right now because I have these braces and I love them they have quotes on them and you know I love quotes um at this point like if you have watched my videos you know I love quotes but anyway as you can tell this bracelet has no stress to it because if it did then it would be easier for me to put on but I love these types of braces um because they have like sayings and quotes and words and all that stuff so you better believe I was gonna find a way to put this on my left hand using my left hand um and my right hand as much as possible and eventually I did and I'll show you right now so what I will do is I'll cake it and put it on as best as I can and then I'll use my right hand to kind of like slide it and then there, I got it on. I guess. I can't put it on too tight because then it would be extremely hard for me to take it off. I remember one time I put it on like a little bit tight and it literally took me like, I swear, like 10 or maybe even longer, like 20 minutes to take it off. Um, and I was like, oh my god, like, why? Why did I do this? But anyway, so I'll show you how I take it off as well. And you know, oftentimes taking it off is actually harder than putting it on. But what I would do is, I don't know if I can talk about doing this, but okay. <laughs> this actually might take a while, so let's see. I'll try to grab the breakless with my fingers in the opening, and I'll use my right hand as much as possible to like help that. Once I have grabbed the breakless with my fingers, I will then like do my best to like like take it off like that like it's hard to describe but I get it so yeah so this is how I take my break list off um definitely harder to um take off than put on most of the time I definitely love these braces and you know I'm proud that I found a way to do it because I know at first when I started wearing these break lists, like I needed help like putting them on and now like I can do them and it makes me so happy next is cooking food now this can be hard I do have a knock if you don't know what a knock is it's like a knife and a fork combined and that definitely does help and I can cook like a lot of things with it but you know there are things that are so hard for me to cook even with a knock like meats oftentimes and like things like that that are hard um so I will need help with that I do my best and that <laughs> is definitely hard to use with one hand because as you know like you hold the fork with one hand and a knife in the other and then you cock and obviously like I can't do that. The knock definitely does help but it can't like cock everything and then in terms of like other th foods I do have a cocking board that is helpful as well so like if for example like if I want to like cook an apple um I can put it on it will say and then I can use my left hand to cook it and it won't like move but there are certain like things that you know I still need help cooking and it's extremely hard to do with one hand. On the size of like food and like cooking and all that stuff you know sometimes cooking is like can be hard but um, specifically baking and what I'm thinking about is like baking like a cake or brownies and pouring the batter in the pan that can be hard to do with one hand because oftentimes like you use one hand to like hold the bowl and pour it in and then you use your other hand to make sure you got all the batter in the pan and you like scrape it that can be hard because obviously like I can't like use one hand to hold the bowl and then the other one to scrape the batter like into 
the pan but the one thing that you know i have learned to do especially like making pancakes because that's one food i love to make and i feel like i have master making pancakes that's another thing where like the very end of like the batter like you would like scrape everything you can out of the bowl and then make like a pancake from that leftover batter and like that can be hard because i can't like scrape that and then pour it into the pan so what i've learned to do instead is take like a spoon and then use that to scrape as much as i possibly can out of the bowl to you know make another pancake or whatever and you know that has worked pretty well for me tying literally anything um of course like tying shoes that's something i still struggle with yes i have shown you another video that i can tie my shoes even though like I did not do like that well I don't think like there is a way that I have figured out how to tie my shoes but like it sure can be frustrating and it's sure like very hard to do with one hand. For me it gets hard to tie them tight so they won't like be too loose and come undone like that's the hardest part for me for that reason and also gets the fact that it does take me a long time for me to get to do i often just wear like shoes that don't tie and you no know, so i don't have to worry about that but um also like anything in terms of tying like i know there's clothes that often like now tie it like in the front or the back or something like that and you know they're all like talking clothes that i'm just like oh my god like i would love to wear that but i'm just like i won't be able to tie it or like something like that so it is frustrating and i definitely want to do a video on like fashion and like how it impacts me living you know with cerebral palsy and only being able to use one hand because there are like clothes that i would love to wear but like they're harder for me to put on next is washing my hair and making sure i get all the shampoo out of my hair that can actually be harder than you might think because you know i really can only like use my left hand to put the shampoo in and make sure i get it all throughout my like hair and i have to wash it out with and i only have like my left hand to do that as well so sometimes like on my right side of my head like i do like miss some of the shampoo that can be frustrating and just be like oh my god like i just miss this whole like clump of shampoo on my right side and like not like having like my both of my hands because i know if i had both of my hands like to be able to use fully like it would be a lot easier to do and make sure like i got all the shampoo out so along with that um saving can be hard as well but specifically my left arm pick as i have to go like this and it's like sometimes it kind of like an awkward position and also being able to like see like did i get it all like or like did i miss it like and making sure like i don't cut myself at the same time it can definitely be hard but you know i have found like a method and you know i think i do pretty well with that lastly but not least because you know there are many other things that are probably like way hard for me to do but i'm just like not thinking right now at everything but like this is it for now <laughs> put in the sinks on my bed now for anyone i feel like this is actually hard um even for those with two hands like it is hard to do and it can you know be like a challenge for anyone but like when you just imagine like only being able to use one hand like just imagine that like it is even harder i haven't found a method yet to fully like do it on my own and like be able to like put on my seats especially with one hand um i'm working on it and no i'm trying my best and i do want to find a way to do it on my own i feel like it is one of those things that is gonna be hard um no matter like how much i practice but like of course practicing 
is going to help me. So those are all the things I'm going to share with you today that are you know, some of the hardest things for me to do with one hand. I hope you enjoyed watching and if you did give it a thumbs up. It really helps me a lot. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I post every Monday and Friday. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video very soon. Bye.